So as the um, signal transduction pathway continues down, um, eventually the last protein kinase in the pathway or in the phosphorylation cascade um, is reached, it will eventually need to transfer a phosphate group to somewhere. So in our example, uh, starting with epinephrine a few videos ago, we have um, our last protein we're going to actually activate is an enzyme. Um, so we're going to transfer a phosphate group from ATP to an inactive protein, therefore activating the protein. Now because we are looking at the fight or flight response, um, uh, we are going to see what this protein does. It's actually an enzyme uh, to bring about a cell response. Now it doesn't always have to be that we're activating a protein. It could also be that we're uh, maybe working as transcription factors or regulating uh, transcription in the nucleus uh, which will determine which genes are turned into proteins. So it can either be protein activation or protein um, involved in protein synthesis kind of. So anyway, back to our example here, um, the cell response we're looking for if we're in the fight or fight is we have this uh, glycogen molecule which is a bunch of glucose molecules hooked together stored as a polysaccharide in the liver cell. So this protein we just activated, we need to use that protein, this enzyme, to break apart the glycogen molecule. So now this enzyme will break apart the glycogen and release individual glucose molecules into the body where now we can use them to power our mitochondria and um, make ATP so we can either fight <laughs> or flight. Okay.